Today we will be talking about a crop that stands as a cornerstone for over half of the global population. To continue our series on the most important crops worldwide, we will be talking about rice. Welcome back to Fresh K-Town. Rice provides essential carbohydrates, making it an important energy source. Besides carbs, rice also contains small amounts of protein and essential minerals, making it a valuable dietary staple. Rice plants have special requirements for the conditions in which they are grown. Contrary to most other crops, rice loves wet feet. It thrives in dense, compact soils that retain water and provide waterlogged conditions. This is due to an adaptation that allows oxygen to travel down the stem to the roots, which prevents root rot. Additionally, rice likes intense sunlight and the annual rainfall should be at least 1200 millimeters. Although rice thrives in waterlogged conditions, it can also be grown under dry upland conditions. In these systems, better root access to nutrients is achieved, as the soil is less compact compared to wetland farming. Globally, rice is primarily grown in Asian countries, where optimal environmental conditions are usually naturally met. China, India, Bangladesh and Indonesia are the biggest producers worldwide. To grow rice, fields are typically prepared by leveling the land to ensure uniform water coverage. The seeds are sown at a depth of around 1 cm, with a seed density of around 80 to 200 plants per square meter. In many cases, the fields are then flooded shortly after planting to suppress weeds and create the ideal growing environment. In some cases, rice planters are used, but to my knowledge, this isn't common. Mostly, the plants are still sown by hand as countries with rice cultivation are still bound to rudimentary farming techniques. A crucial part of rice farming is weed management. By controlling weeds effectively, farmers can significantly increase yields. Rice also has a relatively low demand for fertilizers, though occasional nitrogen supplementation can further enhance growth. As the plants grow, they pass through the same stages as most other cereals, passing through all stages of the BBCH scale. Harvests typically occur when the grains turn golden and dry, after which the harvested rice is then threshed and dried before milling to remove the husk and bran layers, which results in the polished white rice you probably know. Something cool I found out while researching is that aquaponics can be integrated in the rice paddies. In these systems, the fish waste provides natural nutrients for the rice, while the plants help purify the water for the fish. There are thousands of rice varieties worldwide, broadly categorized into short grain, medium grain and long grain types, each suited for specific culinary uses. In summary, rice is not just a crop, it's a lifeline for billions of people around the world. Its unique growing requirements and versatility make it a fascinating subject and an essential part of global agriculture. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about the world's most important crops, make sure to like and subscribe. If you have video suggestions, make sure to drop them in the comments. And until next time, keep on growing. Peace.